All right, now, the next thing I'm going to be getting into are these little nasties. Crystals, gemstones, pretty, pretty shiny thingies. Mm-hmm. And the one I'm going to start off with is the one that you should probably have. No questions asked. And it is the Master or Clear Quartz. I'll be getting to the reason why you should have this over any other crystal you will ever get in a second. But so, first off, a crystal is a combination of elements smacking together in, in making a geometric compound. Each kind of crystal, let me just get some more specimen over here. Each crystal, here's a clear quartz, here's a piece of sodalite. Each crystal has its own correspondence. Here's a rosy. Can't really tell that one of a rosy though. Here's an amethyst point. Okay. Bottom line is that pretty much a crystal is something that has been formed after elements being pushed hard against one another and they make something like this. So, and here's a, another fancy little piece of amethyst. See if I can throw a curveball at you just to see. Here's a raw, hunky amethyst. Ooh. Can't really see it that well, but, but yeah, that's an amethyst still right. And just for giggles, here is my favorite stone, crystal, what have you, that I have the most of, besides kunzite and morganite, but that's a completely different story. Snow quartz, or frost quartz, milky quartz, whatever you deem fit to call them. That's the one I have the most of. And there's another one. And here's a cheesy, puffy rose cord heart. Oh, cheesy. Anyway, so. What a crystal does is, in the metaphysics, it pretty much is a... How do I put this? It can be, it can be used to direct energy. It could be used to pretty much have a set intent or focus point, be infused in it, and then it pretty much matches it. That's, this is just what regular quartz does. Don't be trying to think, you know, you're going to want to be messing with something that's like, say, um, Moldavite. <laughs> that thing will mess you up if you don't know what you're doing. Just be warned with that. So, if you're thinking about, you know, trying to say, oh, I want to be, I just want to feel the best I've ever been, Malachite probably is not going to be the one that's going to be like, ah, oh, you want to be the best ever, kid? Okay, hold, hold on tight. Hope you have insurance, kid. But, anyway. Clear quartz. Why in the heck am I saying that this should be your primary crystal over any of them? Well, to put it simply... Clear Quartz can do anything you program it or tell it to do. Literally. You can tell it to, or program it, which I'll get into in a moment, to have more prosperity come towards you. You pretty much, I'll get into how you do it too. You charge it with that intent, and then Clear Quartz mimics it. But, but, if you don't program a clear quartz after you cleanse it, which I'll get to that as well, if you do not give it a direction by default, it'll just amplify everything. Good, bad, dreadful, don't matter. It'll be, you know, like that cheerleader that won't stop, you know, cheering after practice has been over for two hours. Yeah, it just keeps going. Here's another clear quartz heart. How do you cleanse these little nasties? Well, it all depends ultimately 
on what kind of stone you got. Because there are some stones you put in water and it'll go dissolve like selenite. And if you put some crystal, say, let's see, where is that amethyst side to go? If you take this little cute little amethyst, you put it in the sunlight, it's going to get sun damaged. And it's not going to be as potent as it once was. So you got to be really careful. You got to do your research before you be like, okay, selenite, water. Crap. Yeah, we don't want that. So, the way you can cleanse crystals that I know of, you can cleanse them by fire, not actually stick them in the fire, but get them close to like burn away, like burning, like putting it above the flame, that way the heat burns away any nastiness on them. You can put it in the earth for a night, then put it back, bring it back so it's out of that negative energy. You can pretty much wash it with rose water, which is what I usually do with all my stones except selenite, because that would be a disgrace if I did that. And another one you can also do is pretty much by sound. I haven't done that before. I'm not that talented to use a singing bowl. I haven't done that yet, but that's another way you can do it. You can also cleanse by air, which is... Yeah. And when you're blowing it, when you're blowing onto that, you're blowing away all the nastiness on it. But there's another way that I'm surprised a lot of people aren't really shedding a lot of light on, which is kind of odd. Another route you can do is by cleansing them in the dark. You're probably thinking about how the heck does that work? Well, quite simple, really. Well, let me grab a dummy. So, you have a clear quartz, it's not doing too hard, too good. It's not as good as it's supposed to be. You pretty much find a dark place, a dark shelf or what have you. Pretty much you just put in the far back in the dark. What the dark does, it goes into it and it morphs it and it takes it all out. And it consumes everything within it. Because what the dark does, it completely grabs on and it pulls into it. It's like a void. It voids it out so it's blank. So that way it can be charged. You can also do it also in the sunlight. And when with the sunlight, you know, bring all happy schmanchy, lightening it all up and making it crispy, shiny. But be careful with stones like amethyst and cellulite. Because that would be a big uh oh to have your beloved amethyst be sun damaged. And another way is also through moonlight. You can definitely do it through moonlight too. You can also cleanse them with salt, preferably sea salt. What you gotta do is get a pile of sea salt and just plop it in there, let it just soak for a little bit, or just chill in the sea salt, and then it'll be blank, ready to do whatever the heck you wanna do with this thing. Or well, you can also cleanse them in sea salt water, but again, make sure it's not like selenite or sulcellite, because if you do that, and it's gone. We never get that back again. But, now, clear quartz. What on earth is it meant for? Well, clear quartz is the master stone, meaning that it can do whatever the heck you want it to do. Anything. All you gotta do is program it, and how I program mine, and what actually makes the most sense to me is, have your recessive hand, this one is my left, and your dominant hand, which is my right. The left is the feminine side, the right is the one that infuses, is the masculine side. So, for an example, say I wanted to charge this crystal for the intent of keeping me, you know, protected and safe. With my dominant hand, I'm going to grab it like that, and... It'll sit still. Hold it like so. And then pretty much say in my head what I want this crystal to do. Or I can actually tell the stone what I want it to do. Or even just a simple. And then we got it. All ready to go. But 
Another way you can also do, if you have a stone that's been charged and is just sitting around and hasn't been tented it and you feel like you need, you know, some extra protection, you can, you can grab a Master Quartz or any kind of stone whatsoever with your recessive hand, grab it, and have it point in towards you. Grasp it and feel like its energy go within you and go up your arm into like your like the bloodstream. So that way you now have that intent within you. That's another fun fact. And also, clear quartz is also the stone that is the most used for gritting. I'm not going to be able to do a gritting video right now, <laughs> but I'll, I most definitely will in the future. All I'm doing is trying to get my foot in the door with this. But clear quartz is the master stone, again, because it can do whatever you want it to. But remember, if you don't tell it, anything to do is just gonna default to like okay let's just make everything go overkill and it does not stop <laughs> it just keeps going and going and going until you actually cleanse it or make it stationary and probably that's really mainly all that I can think of right now but oh also when it comes to like shock replacements meh, clear quartz can go anywhere again because it can do what it pleases but if it has to pick a place it is the crown chakra well because it's clear and white and of all the stones it's also the most ready available and it's the most cheapest so if you don't even have a clear quartz and you want to invest in crystals get this first get your clear quartz first and get well acquainted with it because if you can if you can handle clear quartz really well pretty much you don't need any other stone the rest of them are just like for cutesy giggles and like whatever the heck you kids are playing Pokemon now with I don't know and all the clear quartz come in like different variants this little guy when I got him he hit like a truck and once you become very sensitive to like crystal and stone energy, you can just be mind your own business. All of a sudden, you pick up a stone and go, "Oh!" That was like when I got my uh, my first strand of kunzite. Wow, that was very you know getting sh shot in the tush by good old Cupid. That was lovely. But other than that, pretty much that is what clear quartz is used for. It's good, as a re recap, it's good for doing whatever the heck you want it to do. It amplifies everything. Good, bad, dreadful, don't matter. It pretty much, it's pretty much the cheerleading stone. And it can do anything. It's also the most readily available. It's very cheap. And it's also the best one to use when you're gritting because it's able to point and is able to focus and attention and, you know, play connected dots or what have you. So, that is clear quartz. My next stone, probably, I'm trying to decide which I'm going to go with next because all I have so many stones, it is stupid. But, you know, can't be a can't be a witchy channel if I'm not talking about everything metaphysical now, can I? So, that is Clear Quartz, and I'll see you on the next video regarding about which one of these hunk of rock I'll talk about next.